dy dx is equal to zero at turning points. All right. In other ways, we require that f prime x is equal to zero at those turning points. Now let's differentiate fx with respect to x. In other ways, we're looking for f prime x. So from this, we say f prime x is equal to three x squared minus twenty four x plus forty five, and that is equal to zero at the turning points. Now let's solve this quadratic equation to find the values of x at those 10 points. Now, on this equation, you can divide throughout this equation by 3 because 3 is a common factor. You divide this 10 by 3, you get x squared. You divide this by 3, you get minus 8x plus 15. That gives us 0. Now, let's factorize this by the method of inspection. We have x minus 3 and x minus 5. That's equal to 0. Now, we realize that x is equal to 3 and 5 at those turning points. Now, we must look for the corresponding values of y at those turning points so that we'll be able to find the coordinates of those turning points. To look for those values of y, we are going to substitute these values of x into the original function. Now, let's begin with x is equal to 3. So we have f3 is equal to 3 to the power of 3 minus 12 multiplied by 3 squared plus 45 multiplied by 3 plus 6. We are just substituting 3 into that. And this gives us 27 minus 9 times 12. We have 108. 45 times 3, we have 135 plus 6. Now, if you add these up, you shall get 60. So we have 110 point, and it is at 360. So that's one of those 10 points. Now, let's look for that 10 point when x is equal to 5. So again, into the original function, right here, you substitute 5. So we're looking for f5. So we have f5 is equal to 5 to the power of 3 minus 12 multiplied by 5 to the power of 2 plus 45 by 5 plus 6. All right. Now, let's simplify that. We have 125 minus 12 times 25, that's 300. 45 times 5, we get 225 plus 6. And if you add these up, you shall get 56. So we have another 10 point, and it is at 5 and 56. So we have those 10 points. 